Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In my previous tutorial, you would have seen that we made a game where we had a little cube that we can move around with our arrow keys. So if you don't remember doing this, you probably need to go back to our previous tutorial. But right now, what we do have is a box that we can move around on the platform and it collides into the wall as in it doesn't go through the wall so if you don't have that working yet feel free to do my previous tutorial on unity to get this to work a link will be provided in the description but now what we want to do is we want to basically do a little experiment that is going to teach you about gravity which is really cool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to as you can see this ball is currently hovering in the air so what I'm going to do is drag it a little bit higher and show you that it's falling down due to gravity okay gravity is pulling it down so what I want to do is show you a function in the code that is going to slow down the fall now let me just show you how um, gravity works using a diagram so we have a box that is hovering in the air and this is the floor okay and this is the box and this is the side view of the ball hovering so what um, is happening is that there is gravity pulling down on the box so how much is the gravity how much is the gravitational force now the gravitational force will depend on a few things but basically it depends on the distance between the box and the floor as well as the mass of this box so basically we don't need to calculate the gravity because uh, we don't need to calculate the exact amount of the force because that's going to be too complicated but what we want to do is if we want this box to not fall then we need another force let's call let's just call it F we need this force to be equal to the gravity okay if these two forces are equal then the box is going to float in the air now even though that we don't know the actual gravity amount we don't know the amount of the force what we do know is that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared this number is the acceleration due to gravity if you drop anything in the air on top of a mountain or wherever you want to drop it so let's say you're standing on a building and you drop something don't do this in real life so something drops like on the tower of pizza or something uh, Galileo did that experiment then it's going to fall down with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second square that's how much it's going to fall down so what we want to do is basically have a equal an opposite force that's going to counter this 9.8 meters per second squared that's going to counter it so that it's not going to accelerate downwards it's just going to stay floating in the air so let's just try how this works in unity so let's edit the code for our box if you guys remember from the previous tutorial you would have created a little script so let's edit the script for the box and there's a script for moving it horizontally and vertically which means up down left right but we haven't got it floating uh, up down left right on the plane but we haven't got it going up in terms of floating in the air so let's put that in 
Now you can see that we have this fix update function and let's put inside this fix update function uh, rb dot add force. All right, we're going to add a force to our object. Now, if you add a force, what we need to do is talk about how much force we want to add in the three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. Now, if you guys remember from the pre previous tutorial, um, we have the object moving in the X axis, the Z axis, which in Unity, you can see that X axis is to the right, Z axis is going into the into the plane all right in the scene view, you can see x is going to the right z is the blue line going in and green is the yellow line so when you press up down left right oops when you press up down left right it's only moving in 2d because going up floating in the air that z axis is zero zero movement so when we want to add the force, we want to make basically 0, 1, 0. Okay, so what that means is X and Z axis, we're not going to change it, but we want to make the object float upwards a little bit. Now, is a force of 1 enough? Now, the answer is no, because... Let's just try it out, okay? Let's just try it out. It's not enough, but you can see it's falling gradually uh, slower as we increase this number. If we increase this to 4, okay, look what happens. When we run this, it's falling slower and slower. If we increase it to 8, okay, look what happens to our box falling slower and slower and now look what happens when we increase number to 9.8 f f means floating point which means a number with some numbers after the decimal point so you need to add f whenever you want a number that has decimal point so let's play it and you can see the object is floating in the air okay when we play the game object is floating in the air not falling down not falling up not going up so the reason for that is because actually it is still falling down a little bit and that is because gravity okay acceleration due to gravity is so if i go to my um project settings physics gravity is 9.81 9.81 so i've got it i've got to do 9.81 and that's going to make it that's going to make it float okay now shouldn't be moving at all exactly okay the box um because we have acceleration uh, we have acceleration due to gravity going down at 9.81 now what is acceleration due to gravity the same as the force well if you guys remember um well you probably don't know it but force is equal to mass times acceleration it was one of the equations that i believe newton invented and um you can see here that our box has a weight a mass of one unit so let's have a look if you click on the player you can see that the mass is one kilogram so if the mass is one kilogram if the mass is one kilogram then the force is going to be one times the acceleration which means the force is going to be 9.8 times equals one times 9.8 because acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 so that's why if we make the upward force 9.81 it's going to hover in the air 
Now notice how this force is applied consistently. So every second, every millisecond, this force is acting on the object. Oops, I think I just stuffed up the game. Hang on. So what happens if we give it a force that's bigger than 9.8? Well, we can see it straight away. If I make this, let's say, 11, then what's going to happen is it's just going to float upwards now. The box is going to be going up. See, the box is now floating. So if we want it so that when we press a key on the keyboard, then we want to add force to the object. Okay, then that should be really simple. So let's just say we want to, if, all right, if we want to make sure that when we press the space bar, hang on, If the input dot get key down is pressed, uh, the space bar is pressed, key code dot space. Okay, then I want to add force to it. Okay, so instead of me just floating the ball floating the box randomly, I want it so that when I press the space bar, that's when it's going to add the force. Okay, so let's run that. So save it, run the game. And now you can see that the box is going to fall to the ground, but if I press the space bar, okay, it's finding it a bit hard to float. One second, what's going on? So I've just had to make one small change and that is instead of get key down, what I needed to change was just change that to get key. So once you have that and you just play the game and you can see that when you press the space bar, it's floating. So why do we want it to change the get key? Because get key down means that it'll execute once when we press down the key. But we want it so that it adds a force as we're holding down the key. So just change it to get key. And now it's floating and you can move it around and do all sorts of stuff. So the object is now flying in the air. Whenever you hold down the space bar okay it will float all right thanks for watching guys see you next time